y'all welcome to today's video so my husband got me this for mother's day yes i know mother's day was over a month ago was it over a month ago when was mother's day yeah anyways it's been like a month this has been sitting here waiting on me to test i am so backed up on videos y'all this stuff has been sitting here waiting on me to do a video on i have not opened it and it's been eating me alive I'm ready to test the stuff out. It's got dust on it. It's been sitting here so long. This is the As Seen on TV Magic Minerals Airbrush Foundation by Jerome Alexander. So this is what it looks like. Came in this little box. He got me the shade light. Um, I don't know if that's gonna be the right color. He said the only other option he saw was like a dark one. So. I don't know. We'll see. According to this, they have light, medium, medium, dark, and dark. I probably should have had the medium one, but my husband got me light, so that's what we're going to try. Let's test this stuff out, see how it works, see if it's a hidden gem or if it is a major miss. All right, so we've got our Ultra Fine Mineral Powder Spray-On Makeup Silky Smooth Finish. And then it came also with this little kabuki style brush that you use. Let's see what the instructions say because I have never seen this stuff. So I don't know if I'm late on this, if y'all already know what it is and how it works, but I hadn't seen nothing about it. So let's read how we do this. Shake well, hold approximately six to eight inches from brush, spray onto the brush, and then buff into skin. So this has skincare makeup in it, hyaluronic acid, peptide power, a lock in hydration, help fight sagging and bagging <laughs> with firming and lifting technology while reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Okay. My only thing is you would think an airbrush foundation you could just like spray on your face. What's the point in an airbrush if you're just going to put it on a brush and then put it on your face like every other makeup? But anyways, so shake vigorously before each use. Okay, vigorously. <laughs> okay, hopefully that was vigorously. Okay, so I have nothing on my face right now, like absolutely nothing. So we're going to test this out and see how it works all on its own. To break seal, press firmly, press down firmly. Okay. Okay, well, I just sprayed makeup everywhere. That's kind of weird, but. All right, so we spray it onto the brush. Hmm, what were we thinking? I'm just gonna do this half first so we can kind of compare the difference in my skin. What do we think? I mean, I do think the color is a little light. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Definitely evened out my complexion. Looks pretty good. I don't know, I'm seeing some weird patchiness around my eyes. Like it's wanting to crease around my under eyes. And then like over here, it just looks like it's settling in funny. There's like some patches right here and right here. There's definitely creasing going on under the eye. Hmm, let's do the other side. I feel like the texture is very weird. Ugh. It's like my skin's not wanting to absorb it and it's just like sitting on top. Mm -mm. And then like right here around my eyebrows and my nose, it's like it's oxidizing. Mm -mm. A little odd. Definitely not my favorite foundation at all. Like I don't think it's covering what I want to cover good, but then other areas it's like patchy. It's still not covering up my freckle that I have right here. But then other areas, it's like specifically for some reason around my eyebrows right here is like looking crazy. You probably can't see it on camera, but, but it is looking a little funky. <sighs> I think this is as good as it's going to get. Let's see the claims. A professional flawless look. Super quick and easy. 
Okay, it was pretty quick, pretty easy. Neutralize imperfections and look years younger. Do I look years younger, y'all? Neutralize imperfections? Um, not really. I'm still seeing all my blemishes, and that's after two coats. And if I cake it on anymore, I'm afraid. Like, look at my under eyes. Major creasing going on. Look at this. You see that line? Look at that. Lines. Ugh. And even where I touched, now there's a fingerprint. Like, it's not... I just don't know about this. And this brush, I feel like, is giving me, like, stripes on my face. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Light, silky, incredibly even finish. That's a big, fat negative. Y'all, like right now, I got a line going down my nose. Where did that come from? This is not an even finish by any means. It's patchy, cakey in places, creasing, not covering in other places. Buildable yet breathable, medium to full coverage. I would not say this is medium to full coverage. I would say it's like light to medium coverage. And I mean, I could go on again with another layer, but then I'd be cracking all over the place. Not a fan. Mm -mm. I mean, in my opinion, this is a big fat flop. Mm -mm. Don't like it. Okay, so that's my honest opinion on that one. That's a negative. Let me know down in the comments below if y'all have heard of this stuff, if you've tried it, what you thought about it. I've never even heard of it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some makeup on top just to see how it layers with other products. And then I'll be back to do the final thoughts. Final thoughts. Y'all, this stuff is terrible. I don't know if you can see under my eye, but look. There's major cracks around my nose. Super cracks. Anywhere that I touch my face, it still wipes off. Like, even though I set my makeup, for whatever reason, it's like that stuff just sits on top of your face and doesn't sink in. Like, I just feel like my face looks terrible. Like, my highlight doesn't even sit right. Like, it's patchy looking. It's just awful, y'all. So, this is a big fat flop. I hope this video was helpful for, helpful for ya. Hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Don't forget to click that notification bell so you can be notified of my future uploads. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see you in my next video.